What's up guys, welcome to the next part. We're going to be executing a low fade. This is where we're going to elevate a section, creating that section all the way back, ensuring that the front is longer than the back. So we're gonna start right here at the front, grab a section and basically just trim off a little bit from that section, maybe about half an inch or less, and then travel that guide all the way back. The reason why we're starting in the front instead of the back how we usually do is because we wanna just take off a tad bit. And again, starting in the frontal zone this time instead of the corona zone. So this is the top view. We go apex. We're gonna follow this guide to the right side and finally to the left side, making sure that everything in the back is the shortest and everything up here in the front is the longest. And on the sides, we're simply going to match the length receding from the front to the back. All the way forward. We do the other side, coming straight down. Right here you can see the section going straight down the apex zone of the head, elevating the hair, and this natural guide right here. And trim. You see the guide right there, just go ahead and match it. Again, working back. Okay. All right, now that we traveled the natural guide from the front all the way back, then we can go ahead and start matching with the side. Come the section to the right side, comb horizontally. We want to be clean with our sections and guidelines always. Simply match. We can move on to matching with the left side now. Coming at an angle. Now that we successfully cut the top, it's all even and good now. Section that off from the sides. That way we have a clean area to work with. Look for the client's highest recession point. So this is the area that is going to be parted off. Going straight, call this a section. section off the back make sure that it follows a consistent pattern all around the top section here and give it a small twist and begin working a match with the guy down here Now we can begin the process of the low fade. Before we start placing any guidelines, we're actually going to be doing clipper over comb to loosen up the sides, give it a little bit more free weight, create the guide that you want to travel all around right here in the beginning, cut off an inch, and then travel that guide all around. I believe that now we have a way cleaner canvas to work with. Okay, so I want you guys to pay close attention to the techniques that we're going to be using to execute this low fade. These techniques are going to be a lot different than you know how we usually fade in the prior videos. So the first step is to create the first guideline right here, the number one guard and the lever fully closed. So one finger length on, on the side, two fingers on the back. We do this, we work with higher guards in order to control that fade, in order to control the transition. You guys always wanna start with higher guards first. That's basically the main, the main key, the secret. Right above that, we create another guideline with the number two closed. But make sure that when you guys create this next guideline that it's very small, narrow, and compact. Again, we don't wanna go too high up because we don't wanna compromise any of the weight up here. We wanna preserve the darkness up here so that we can see the contrast of the nice compact transition and then dark up here very carefully scoop out when you're hitting with the number two up here make sure you guys follow the flow of the guideline notice the flow all around follow that same pattern we want to stay right beneath that occipital bone okay so you go ahead and switch to your one and a half guard, working the lever from open to closed. 
to blend this in right here. Using the corners because small crevices in the head that we want to get into and we can't with the full blade. So use the corner of the blade. Going in with the corner. You can also stretch the skin. That way it opens up those crevices. We're using the same technique that we use to blend in the guidelines by starting off with the lever open, tad bit closed, hitting the ceiling of the guideline, closing it halfway, hitting the middle of the guideline, and then finally closing the lever all the way and hitting the lowest point of that guideline. We can still see, you know, further dark spots here, so we're gonna go ahead and soften those up with the number one guard, working the lever from open to closed, using the same technique again, ceiling, middle, and then bottom right here. And with the lever open. Being consistent, again, never forget to be consistent. Close it a tad bit. We can begin to soften up the contour zones of the head, removing this weight line right here, using thinning shear over comb, making sure that we angle the comb at a 35 degree angle, straight up. We can see that it looks a lot better now. Then we switch to the half guard. Lever closed, create a small bald guideline right below the number one. Lever closed. Blend this into the rest of the transition. We're not going too high up. We go ahead and grab the number one, remove all this weight, soften it up a bit more with the number one. As we near the back, we can use a full blade. Don't lay it all the way flush against the skin, but gliding it, kind of hovering over the hair. Grab your one and a half. Okay, grab your trimmer, establish the arc. Now we can begin making the lowest point of the fade. So we start with the lever fully closed. Can't shave anything beneath that guideline.
Grab your electric shaver. Just tap into it, you know, you don't even have to go that high in or that high up. So we, the goal is to have a clean fade, low and compact. Staying real low here. Now we finish off this blend by working with no guard and just moving the lever from open to close right in this area here. To remove this weight line here with the half guard, not too high up, being very careful when you raise that guideline. Just kind of finalizing everything. The blade itself, no guard, we're open. Now we grab the half guard, same thing. We'll create a quick guide right here to blend this in. Start closing the lever, start working that lever just below the area that we previously hit. Always make sure to work that lever as you go down. So the lower you go, it's gonna be closed. The higher you go, it's gonna be open. So right here, it's pretty low. And just flick out. Now we just blend this in right here. We see a little bit of discrepancy in tone. Right here, we see a few dark spots. So just go in with the number one. Polish any dark spots away as low as possible and making any corrections as we go. So this is the point where they meet and they finalize each other, fully closing off this transition. Details are what matter. Polish these dark spots, point cut using the tips. And refine the bulk to finish off the low fade. Okay. Okay, so whenever you guys, you know, get to the point where the low fade is complete, we have the low fade here. It's a clear transition. It's fully finished. Now, in order to refine the bulk, the darkness up here that we left, you guys can actually grab comb straight down. Kind of just situating. All right, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. We took off not much length on top. Pretty much just matched everything, made it even. He, the client doesn't didn't want that much length removed, so we preserved the length. Um, kind of just cleaned it up, and then on the side we did a low fade. And I'll see you guys on the next video.